Welcome to a packed St. James Academy Gymnasium. We're in Lenexa, Kansas. We got boys EKL basketball, and we've got a good matchup between Bishop Miege and St. James Academy. Kevin White, Dion Clisso, and the coach Mark Huppy bringing you the action. And we mentioned the gym is packed. The rivalry always a hot one here. Now, the A's has won most of these meetings, coach. But St. James hasn't been around a long time. But about a month ago, St. James Academy beat the A's. So what should we expect tonight? Well, and coach Zeke was not happy with that one. But with Bishop Miege, you're going to get history. You're going to get tradition. They're always thirsty for another 4A state title, looking at another EKL title also, but St. James Academy. Coach Dom will say this is probably his best team ever. All the pieces fit. Hungry for an EKL title possibility. Again, with some 5A state aspirations also for the Thunder. January 7th, they won 72-69. As we get to our high V player profile and a guy that can score the basketball for the Stags, Christian Bowen Webb. Now, Christian just gets buckets. He wants the ball in crunch time, loves the roll. Back-to-back 30-point -back games this week, always, always confident, plays with the swagger. How about junior guard Brian Hawthorne for the Thunder? Well, Brian's really a complete guard, a three-year starter for Coach Dom, runs the show, really fills the stat sheet. I honestly think he'll have a triple-double sometime this year and next year also, brings it every night. The Catholic rivalry continues. Here in Lenexa, boys EKL basketball. Tip-off is coming up next. The game of the week is brought to you by Hy-Vee. They're proud to support Kansas City High School Athletics. Final instructions from Coach Rick Zeke. His stags coming in at 12 and 4, starting Hall, Bowen Webb, Wing, Jensen, and Boylan. Boylan coming off a injury, a transfer from Denver, Colorado. And of course, the Thunder at 11 and 4, coached by Stan Dom. Gonna start Neeson, Boydston, Hawthorne, Lynch, and Summerhalder. And there's Stan Dom. Your officials, Chad Waller, Greg Collada, and Robin Hobson. If you like EKL boys basketball, you're going to love this game tonight. Oh, you can just feel the emotion in the building, not just with the fans, both coaches, last-minute instructions, a lot of emotion there. Mies wins the opening tap. Hall out there as well. He was fighting an injury. He did not play Tuesday as they were beaten at home by Van Horn. Boylan off glass. Summer Hall under the rebound for the Thunder. Boydston to Hawthorne. Man-to-man -man defense early on by Miege. Hawthorne got a step and drew the foul. In St. James Academy, a lot of concepts. You're not going to see a lot of set plays. Not going to see a lot of motion offense. Again. Get kids the ball in the position where they can make some plays. Obviously, Brian Hawthorne gets downhill with the best of them, the junior guard. Hall with the foul. That is his first. Junior averaging 13 points, five rebounds, four assists, leads the team in that category. 74% foul shooter, hits one out of two. Skip it to Hall for three. And Hawthorne the rebound. Long outlet to Summerhalder. He can't make the catch. Turnover Thunder. Those two have been so successful making that deep pass and transition this year. That one's a little, little bit too much juice on it. Thunder turns it over. Again, Coach Zeke here's always run great stuff, always run great specials, quick hitters, actions. Looks like they're trying to get Bowen Webb here a little touchy early. Screen for Bowen Webb. Both teams playing a man defense. Hall, three-year starter, handles the point guard duties. A great matchup to the watcher tonight, Kevin, is John Neeson checking Bowen Webb. Again, Neeson, an elite athlete, Bowen Webb, creative scorer. 
Foul coming up on the Thunder as Boylan. This guy, uh, tell me about this guy, Coach. Uh, he got a good genetics on his side. Well, a lot of you people in the Kansas City area remember his mother, Rachel Stark. Fantastic player, put up huge numbers at St. Teresa's back in the day. Lived in Denver until this summer. Moved to Kansas City. He's an athlete. He runs, he jumps. Double-double kid. 13 points, 8 rebounds. Lead the team in blocks and steals. 78% foul shooter. Dad played basketball as well. Played at William Jewell. Once again, fighting an ankle issue. But playing tonight. First points of the game for the Stags. Then a lot on the line here tonight as far as the East Kansas League uh, championship goes also. Both these teams, high aspirations for that. Summerhalder spinning, no. And the rebound claimed by Wing for Miege. Bowen Webb to Wing. Skip it to Boylan. Bowen Webb with the great ball fake. Fires the three and connects. Bowen Webb walks that line between confidence and cockiness really well. Again, if he hits his first one, he can get on a roll. The steal by Boylan in the open floor to Hall. Layup, no good. But Miege able to get it back and reset the offense. Bowen Webb no looks it. And the bucket is good by Wing on a reverse layup. And he's fouled. Aiden Wing. And a chance at the three-point play. Oh, Bowen Webb, he's definitely the go-to guy. Turns the corner right here. Probably could have shot a floater. Again, finds Wing, the football. Defensive back, safety. He's poised, consistent, and competitive. Aiden Wing. Lynch the foul, his first. Free throw rattles in for Aiden Wing. Came off the bench last year for just 10 points per game. Junior guard. And an 8-1 start for the visitors. The Stags in their classic half-court man-to-man. You're not going to see a lot of defenders outside that three-point line, Kevin. A lot of pack line principles are here in the part of Coach Zeke. Neeson back irons a three. Lynch, the top rebounder, gets it back. And Hawthorne and the offense will recycle. Summerhalder, the spin. And he draws the foul. Wing will hear the whistle, his first. Boy, Sam Summerhalder so fast with the basketball. Oh, he's got some D2 offers. Over 20 dunks this year is a conservative estimate right there. Getting 18.5. Great layup maker. Again, that spin movie always balances up, always creates some contact. Has struggled a little bit at the line here, Kevin, I believe, so far this year, though. Yeah, he's only a 50% foul shooter. And he gets there a lot. Last time these teams met, he had 18 points. 19 for Johnny Neeson, led the Thunder. 72-69, you beat Miege on their floor, so they're kind of angry tonight. Now the steal by Boydston. And Boydston, a great defender for the St. James Academy Thunder. Gets a lot of loose balls, doesn't need the ball, doesn't score a lot, but invaluable to the Thunder. He screened for Hawthorne, he couldn't get a three up. Now he does. And rebounded by Boylan. Well, Miege was somewhat upset that they lost to Van Horn, but two of their starters didn't play. Now Boylan gets himself free, can't connect on the 16-foot straight-on jumper. Boydston cut off. The defense by Boylan finds Summerhalder, who puts it up and in. Well, great, great patience there by Boydston against Summerhalder. Really cuts well. Great vision, great hands. Nice finish there. Again, in the loud gym, Kevin, it's tough to hear a lot of times with Coach Zeke. This has one of those distinctive voices. And again, it gets his message across. Stags are great stuff. All the miss. Thunder quickly into their offense. Boydston over to Lynch. Tried to get a three up. No. Neeson from 17. Dagan Jensen, a rebound for the Stags. 8-4 leaders. His wing back inside Boylan. Stolen away. Second steal by Blake Boydston. Here's Summerhalder so fast with the basketball. Layup good. Timeout, Bishop Miege. 
Oh, that's what he does. Coach Zeke not happy with that live ball turnover. And again, you get Sam Summerholder out in transition. One of the best finishers in the league, if not the state. 30-second timeout for Coach Zeke and the Stags. Again, Sam Summerholder, again, a four-year starter, approaching 800 points for his career. Again, one of the top five scorers in the history of this young school. They've only had three kids get over 1,000 points, Kevin. The great Clint McCullough, Mike Huppy, and obviously Zach Thornhill had a great career at UNO. Big time scorers, but Summerholder making his mark himself. What about Will McKee? Where did he get in there? Uh, he's another good player that they've had here. Oh, he's way up there. Had a great okay. career at Washburn. Yeah. yeah. Fell a little bit short also. Okay. Well, Sam is definitely a college prospect. He's got his team back in it on a 5 0 run. They're down 8 to 6. Mies out of the timeout. We'll have the ball in the backcourt. <laughs> That's where Sam always looks to. He doesn't show too much emotion. Yeah, you were talking to him before the game, man. Yeah, <laughs> Taking a nap on me, wasn't he? Yeah, he was relaxed. Here's a little head tap series here by Coach Zeke again. Pretty much trying to get Bowen Webb off. And he hits a long two. Again, great sets there. Again, Coach Zeke. Bishop Meage High School's really fought injuries this year, fought illness, some COVID, some COVID situations again. Still working on his rotation, according to him. And the rebound is taken by Boylan. He's tied up by Hawthorne, and the arrow will keep it with the Thunder. So heads up play by Hawthorne, who had the miss, but able to keep the possession by tying up Boylan as we check in with Dion. Well, last time down, guys, uh, they found Boylan Webb and that really got their offense <laughs> looking those few times before as, as St. James kind of got back in this game. They weren't looking for him, so they've got to make sure he touches the ball. No question. Stags jumping out here in a 2-3 zone on that inbounds underneath. And the shot missing the mark. He's coming in is Finn Burrett. Good three-point shooter, probably the best on the Thunder. Ooh. Nice pass, Hall to Jensen. Oh, Xavier Hall again. Both teams looking to push on a make and a miss. Again, Hall eyes up. Greg dropping a dime there for two. All teams getting some of their substitutions in here late in the first quarter. Summer Halder against Hall. They double team and a reach-in foul on wing. Again, you can tell the Bishop Yeh's kids so well scouted, so well prepared. Again, dropping a double, double team down there on Sam Summerholder as it spins to the backside. All right, alley ooping to Summerholder who just lays it off the glass softly. Perfect set. You see the Kansas Jayhawks run that same set a lot to Abadji and Christian Brown again. Coach Dom, the Nexus and O Wizards. Wizard got that one clean. Wing down the left alley off glass. Aiden Wing. Aiden always consistent, always prepared, always competes at a high level. He's got five, averaging 10 points per game. Six point lead for the Stags. He swept the series last year, but lost their first game at Bishop Mie, 72 69. Hawthorne, nice look inside. And Gabriel Zijek, who just got in the game. And this is a guy that's really emerging in the program, averaging eight points per game. And definitely on Coach Zeke's radar is a guy we were worried about. Uh, Sears Hall getting rejected by Zijek. Here we go on the backside, Kevin. Then Brian Hawthorne. Nice paint touches consistently. Doesn't look to score on that spin move. Always looking for one of his teammates. Gabe Sejak, as you said, on a roll. Coach Dom says he's made the biggest improvement in his program over the past 12 months. Having a great junior year. Yeah, he's grown four or five inches. Really put to put the work in this summer, too. Increases confidence, increases range. Great three-point shooter. Bowen Webb hits the deck. Ball retrieved. Now stolen back into the ball game and getting blocked is the football quarterback Mac Armstrong as there's Lynch and slow it down and get the offense started Summerhalder back out Cjek's a good three-point shooter not this time and wing with the rebound and coach Zeke signaling one shot for his team 
As we end play in the first quarter, leading 14 to 10. And Coach Brown looks like he could contend to hold the let the Stags go for a last shot here with 29 seconds to go. Then Coach Zeke usually likes to initiate this last shot. We got to lay up there. Well, uh, you thought he did, but <laughs> Summerhalder comes flying in with the rejection. Inside, Sejek the catch, can't put it up. Lynch had the rebound, falls down. Stags get the loose ball. Bowen Webb at the buzzer, and no good. End of the first quarter in a wild EKL matchup between two Catholic schools, Bishop Miege, St. James Academy, 14-10 after one. Stags leading the Thunder. Friday night basketball at its best. Man rocking, the gym is packed. Got a good one here in the EKL through one coach. Uh, your thoughts there on that first quarter? Well, I thought after the first three or four minutes here, again, the kids kind of settled down and play. Obviously, a lot of emotion, a lot of tension at the opening tip off. But again, Bishop Mays came out strong, running their sets, creating, a, creating opportunities on the fly also. Out 14 to 10. Stags breaking the huddle with Mac Martin, the transfer from Blue Valley Southwest. Wing, Armstrong, Bowen Webb, and Boylan. Countered by Lynch, Boydston, Hawthorne, Summerhalder, and CJ. Now, Coach Zeke worried. Number one concern was he said they got out rebounded 37 to 13, Kevin, on that first game about a month ago. And again, he's doing a lot better job competing on the backboard. Boydson nearly had his third steal. Bowen Webb gets it back, pulls up on the shot, and hits. Again, Bowen Webb loves that pull-up game. Can get to the cup also. Sejek in rhythm on a three. That young man growing in confidence every time. Missed his first one. Second one down. He's going to back off me. I'm going to knock this one down myself. He had double figures the last time these teams met. Shooting 38% from downtown. Bowen Webb hits the deck, draws the two-shot foul as Boydston with the foul. Again, Boydston going for the steal. Bowen Webb not giving up on it again. Lynch showing pull-up Jay from 14. Old-school mid-range game. Right back at him again. Hawthorne, CJ, down the well. As you take a look at Christian Bowen Webb. Been with us throughout the year on the Ivy High School Game of the Week. We saw Avion Webb, his little brother, a freshman, plays at North Kansas City and is a big time scorer like his older brother, Christian Bowen Webb. Oh, Ed, Ed Frisch definitely got a good one there, and it's freshman Bowen Webb at North Kansas City. But again, his brother, Christian, brings it every night. Christian will uh, check out of the lineup. Xavier Hall back in. Stags back in here to half court man to man. Looks like Kevin. Armstrong hitting the deck. Boydston. Let's go on a three and connects. Blake Boydston. I tell you what, he doesn't look to score a lot, but if he's open, he can knock it down. Great screener. Physical, physical, physical kid on the perimeter for the Thunder. Wings pass, deflected, and stolen by Boydston, his third of the game, and re-stolen back by Boylan. And Boylan and Neeson really going at it, Kevin. Yep. Inside, they go to Martin, who puts it up and in. That is Mac Martin, a 6'7 senior, with his first bucket. Well, Matt had a broken leg as a junior at Blue Valley Southwest. Again, Coach, really count on him to have a big February. The oh. big guy feeling it early, Gabriel Sejak. Oh. Again, averaging eight. He's been over 20 a couple times here, love late. Again, playing with a lot of confidence. Ties the ball again at 19. Now the steal by Neeson. Outlet to Lynch, to Boydston. Layup, good. 
Yeah, and those live ball turnovers getting the Thunder out in transition for an easy one, their first lead of the game. 21-19 after trailing throughout the first quarter, the Thunder. Grab it early, lead in the second quarter. Here's Wing, no good, Lynch the rebound. No oh, good, Lynch cleans the board, brings an element of physicality. Hawthorne for three. Rebound tipped around, and Boydston can't save it. Stag's ball. There we see Brian Hawthorne there kicking it out to Cjack. Understanding he's got the hot hand. You get the hot hand. Brian Hawthorne's going to get you the ball. That's Lynch to Boydston. Going to the rack for two. There you look at Gabriel. Confident player, 38% from downtown. Definitely shoot the three. Inside, Mac Martin. Working to the wing and Hall. Cjack has him. Quick little guard. Now wing from downtown. Back irons it. Long rebound to Summerhalder. Cjack wasn't in rhythm. Now will attack. No good. Tip try. Up and good for Lynch. And he is fouled. Garrett Lynch. Staying with the ball at the rim, got it down on the second try and drew the foul. Uh, Garrett Lynch, too big, too strong. Averaging 10 or 11 rebounds a game. He's a captain, four-year player again. Remade his body, one of the most fit kids at St. James Academy again. Bangs the boards every possession. You gotta love this game if you're, if you're a St. James Academy Thunder. Free throw, only a 46% foul shooter. Last foul was on Bowen Webb, who's back out there. Dribbling away from the double team. Wing cut off. Now Hall rejected by Hawthorne. St. James Academy, so many long defenders. So many 6'5", six, 6'6", six kids in that range right there. Brian Hawthorne, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, Again, he can move, he can compete. Nice block shot there by Brian. Stags will play from the baseline. Here's another look. Again, Hall, so many big shots in his career. That's really not his game. Now the steal by Hawthorne and a foul. Hall with the grab of the jersey. And maybe prevented an easy layup for Hawthorne, who's really come on defensively with the block. And now the steal. Oh, as soon as Bishop Ace jumped into that flex offense, Kevin Bryan Hawthorne read it, read it perfectly, shot through the passing lane there for the nice clean deflection. Would have had an easy layup again. Hall taking foul. Probably could have been intentional if you looked at it. Yeah, he did grab his jersey. Two fouls on Hall. As they played inside, Summerhalder gets the rim roll. And St. James on a big roll right here, Coach Z. A lot of veterans out there letting this kids ride this one through. This is their big lead of the ball game. Bowen Webb can't hit. Dagan Jensen floats up a shot and scores it. That's his second bucket of the night. A high rainbow floater by Dagan Jensen, 6'4 junior. It's exactly what they need. Physical play in the paint. Dagan brought it. Summer Alder, skip it to Johnny Neeson from deep. Three is good. Oh, you got those junior sharp shooters, both of them 6'5", 6'6", 6'7". CJ, Neeson, both of them. All down the baseline. A foul call on the Thunder. It's too quick, Xavier Hall. And they got Burrett with the foul. Well, Xavier's been fighting a calf injury this week in the last couple of weeks, Kevin. Looks pretty healthy tonight, and Coach Zeke describes him as the heartbeat of their program. Let's check in with Dion. But what I've seen for St. James defensively, they're overplaying the passing lanes, and until that last possession, they've done a really good job of, of clearing out and getting the rebounds. But Niege hasn't been attacking the glass either when the offensive ball goes up. So they've kind of played into what St. James wants to do. It's been an impressive run by the Thunder. Paul missed the first foul shot. He is one of the better foul shooters at 78%. Cut 
Bands uh, putting the bricks on their phone, and that doesn't work on the second try. One out of two. See something new every night, Kevin. I haven't seen that one. Inno innovative, yeah. Innovative smartphone youth. Stags back into this 2 3 zone again. Alley -oop, the catch, and now a whistle and a foul. As once again, we're setting up Summerhall during the alley oop, and he drew the foul this time. And he'll get the foul on Coppage, who's just checked in the game. Isaiah Coppage, a 6 1 junior. Summer Alder, who is a 50% foul shooter, shooting two. Again, Bishop, as you know, the coach Zeke has gone over that backside lob time and time again. A little bit frustrated with his low defenders here. Again, that diagonal pass over the top of Summer Alder. Got it for the second time. So one out of two. And it's 50% average. As here's Jensen. And we got a blocking foul on the Thunder. And Greg Pilata emphatic with the gesture. And it's on Brian Hawthorne. And there you see Coach Stan down testing his vertical jump. Again, Hawthorne, I'm not sure if he left a, fell a little bit too early, but again, Greg Collada, a great official, had a block on Brian. That's Hawthorne's second foul with 2.51 to go in the half. As you take a look at Dagan Jensen, came off the bench last year for the team that went 22-1, Class 4 state champions in Salina. Five-point lead in the basketball for the Thunder, looking for the season sweep. That would be historic. Johnny Neeson from downtown, his second three. Oh, John, a three-sport star here at St. James Academy, wide receiver in football, D1 track kid, 400 champion, again, great defender. A huge fan of the Green Bay Packers also. I yeah, like uh, seeing Aaron Rodgers win the MVP, as here's Boylan. And a traveling call on Bishop Miege. You really don't see the stags get shook this much, Kevin Hoffman, and then St. James Academy bringing it to both ends. A big lead of eight for the Thunder. Approach two minutes to go before Hy-Vee at the half. Numbers and highlights brought to you by your employee-owned Hy-Vee stores. Summer Alder, and just too fast. Great set there, opening up the lane. CJ flashing to the high post, dragging his defender with him. Nobody ever helped. Summer holding big long strides. Bucket. Game high 12 for Sam. Armstrong, the ball fake, the three. Connects. Mac Armstrong. Uh, Mac's really been on a good roll, shooting the ball in February, according to Coach Zeke. He's dependable. I believe he's the quarterback in football in the cap oh, transfer. Yeah. Yep. Coach Holmes here cheering on the Stags. And it's back-to-back -back state championships for the team with the basketball. St. James Academy, Tom Radke in the house. As Burt missing on a three. Give it back to Bishop Miege. Looking for a little run then the second quarter. Bowen Webb out to Armstrong. This three in and out. Rebounded by Boylan. Back to Dagan Jensen and a reach-in foul. Boydston hacked down on his arms and it'll be free throws for Dagan Jensen. And Boylan saving a possession right there, going to the offensive board with two hands. Again, 58 seconds to go here, down by seven. Coach Tom gets bridged tonight with two yeah, fouls. He's got the, yeah, he's got that foul situation, so they cleared him out. Well, Coach Tom's always loved to go eight deep. He's definitely got his rotation set. They've been healthy pretty much the entire year. And then Finn Barrett, fully capable of uh, running the show here from the point. Mage got it down to six. As we're under a minute in your second quarter. Stan Dom, the edge of the coaching box. Know what he wants here in the final ticks of the second quarter, and they're just going to play for the final shot. 
you know, Coach Tom loves to tinker. He's an ex is an old junkie. Just loves this stuff again. He's got, got a call right here. Once he gets hold of the ball, maybe until the eight second mark, then there's some type of set, Kevin, that you know will involve summer holder trying to get downhill. 18th year as a head coach for Coach Dom, who started coaching at a young age, 25 years old, his first year as a head coach. Now they need to get to work. Summer Alder, the ball fake. Ooh. And they'll say a carry, and we'll go the other way. Turnover, Thunder. Nice call by the official. You very rarely see St. James Academy set a ball screen. Again, that one right there. Neeson, Lynch on a double high up top against Summer Alder. Turned it over. Can Miege get something off? They only got 2.7. Bowen Webb weaving up the court and did not get it off in time. We have reached halftime with the home team, St. James, after uh, trailing at the end of the first quarter. They lead it 34-28. Here's Dion. Here we go, Dom, and uh, they get up 8-1 on you, but you settle down defensively. You're in the passing lanes and really attacking the defensive boards. That seems like a big thing. Yeah, the second quarter, we picked up the defensive intensity a little bit. I think missing shots early kind of rattled us, uh, but our guys are resilient. They kicked, stayed with it. Offensively, he's attacking the basket, getting some scores there, but also kicking it out and getting some three-pointers. Yeah, we've had we've had good looks all night. We missed them early, and we got, we're got fortunate enough to make them there in the second quarter. All right, good luck the rest of the Thank way. Thank you. Ivy at the half is coming up next. As the fans getting ready for a halftime show in Lenexa. The game of the week is brought to you by hy -Vee. They're proud to support Kansas City High School Athletics. Second half. Just around the corner. Let's take a look at the hy -Vee first half numbers. If I'm Coach Zeke, i got to be happy. Number one, looking at that rebound total. Again, 37 to 13 the first time in favor of the Thunder. Stags out rebounding 12 to 10. Again, both teams shooting a pretty good percentage there. The Stags. Clearly two of five from the three-point line, five of 11 for St. James Academy. Again, points off turnovers are pretty even as our turnovers themselves. Sam Summerhalder leading all scores with 12. Christian Bowen Webb leading the Miege cause, he has eight. Oh, I think we knew here tonight, Stan, or Kevin, we're gonna have great games. Again, Bishop Miege High School, you just think of that school they won their first state championship in 1972 with a football title. Again, they've got 114 titles already. Obviously, big, big title runs in good boys and girls basketball, soccer. Again, 18 programs at Bishop Major won a state championship over the year. St. James Academy, a little bit of a new kid on the block, 15 years old. They've won 27 state titles in their 15 years. Clearly, Nancy Dorsey and the Thunder Volleyball Program, one of the most successful volleyball programs in the country. Again, in Tom Radke, back to back football titles. Thunder, they're coming. And Nancy has, what, nine under her belt? So, she's doing pretty good there with the volleyball program. And as this summer alder going to work, Johnny Neeson. Three ball, no. Miege ball, Miege with Paul, Boylan, Jensen, Wing, and Bowen Webb. Home team in white, Hawthorne, Boydston, Summerhalder, Lynch, and Neeson. Big good coach, he run into his little L four up elbow series right here. Again, trying to get in isolation there. Portland trying to get all the way to the club. And it poke free, goes in the hands of Wing, who puts it up and in. Again, you know with their tradition and their history, they're gonna be right in this thing down the stretch, Kevin. Summerhalder, cut off. Man defense for the Stags. It's a little zone. Second quarter. It's a good matchup here. Summerhalder and Boylan. Good ball fake into Lynch. Ball kicked by Lynch. But Thunder will keep. Stags making a stand here. The first defensive possession of the second half. A lot more help. A lot more activity here in the part of Bishop Mears.
outside. Lynch to catch and the reverse layup. Garrett Lynch. Well, a great two foot, two two handed fist set right there by Coach Dom. Big time screen there by Boydston. Nice look by Summerholder. Lynch for two. Bowen Webb from the baseline. Boydston a rebound. And then John Neeson so long. Great contest there on Bowen Webb. Rejected, huh. but right to another Thunder player, Garrett Lynch. Now, understated, unselfish, does all the dirty work with Coach Standon. Back to a big lead of eight for the home team. Hall. And Lynch had the rebound and lost it. It'll be Stag's ball as we check in with Dion. Well, I talked with Coach Zeke there at the break, and uh, he said the first three minutes here are going to be huge for them. Uh, they've just got to make sure they're playing aggressive. They said they feel like they left a few open shots for St. James in that first half. They just got to tighten up the defense. And so far, uh, not too bad, but they're still down eight. And now the steal, Boydston, his fourth steal of the night, and he's fouled by Bowen Webb. Boydston has been a tough player as far as getting steals tonight for the Thunder. Well, he does it on the football field, too, on the track. Uh, program here at St. James Academy. Again, a tenacious defender, does all the little things. Got fouled half to the rip. Good clean rip. Alley oop again. Summerhalder <laughs> just couldn't get it up there as it was down low. And now Hawthorne knocked it. Goes back to Hall. Stags a little out of sync. And now Hawthorne can't save it near midcourt. It'll be Bishop Mie's ball, but Stags look rattled on that last set. Now oh, Bishop Mies, as you said, a little bit unnerved here the first two and a half minutes of the quarter. Again, Coach Z getting his point guard out just for a little consultation out here on the side. Again, see if Armstrong can get him settled, get him into a set. The double team on Bowen Webb. Now they back off. Wing down the baseline. Layup good. Aiden Wing. Good no call there by the official also. Wing all the way to the cup. Hawthorne set up a little bit too, too, too far underneath the basket there. Boydston cranks a three. I'll tell you what, that young man's having a game. Both ends of the court. He's got eight points. Came in averaging three, and now the steal. Ball on the deck. And they call a held ball. Arrow goes to Miege. Well, you can tell it's so well scouted here by Coach Diamond. Miege goes to that four upset, trying to hit that elbow. Again, nice overplay there by Summerholder and Lynch, Neeson, all the good, taking that option away. Now this is the big lead of the ball game. Points for the home team. The Thunder looking for the season sweep after winning 72 69 in early January. Another steal ahead to Summerhalter, and he'll throw it down with two hands. Oh, Sammy Sam. with a slam. Oh, Sam, have some of that. Timeout, the A's. The Thunder rolling in the third. Again, those live ball turnovers to him to get the Thunder out in transition. Again, Summerhalter, one of the best finishers in the city. Over 20 dunks this year. You can see that one coming. Lynch to Summerholder. Let's check in with Dion. Uh, Coach Zeke said that they could all run, and you talked earlier about how Summerholder really can explode to the basket. And standing where I'm standing, trust me, he can definitely explode to the basket on that play. Uh, the Thunder's got three kids who have played together since they've been in kindergarten. Tyler Claiborne, a fantastic student athlete here at St. James Academy. Great football player, three-year letterman. He's out for some knee injuries for his senior year. He'll be playing football at Iowa State next year. Claiborne, Lynch, Summerholder, CYO champions, looking for an EKL. Another step towards an EKL title tonight. Yeah, the EKL boys race really up in the air. That. Win, win, win. Stop. And let the thunder. First they got the uh, Thunder broadcast team up near the top. And that's Coach Joe Wahlberg right there in the middle. He's done a sensational job he in that Miege, program organized. He? I think he went to Miege. He did. He's okay. a Miege grad. I'm sure he's got mixed emotions about this one, Kevin. 
But again, they do a sensational job. And then the fake broadcasters courtside. <laughs> and us in the middle getting need in the back. I'd rather have the student seats. <laughs> I don't have anybody drilling them in the back with their knees. And here is Bowen Webb. No. And Hawthorne a rebound. Eyes up scanning the floor. As they get it to Boydston in the corner, that man is on fire. Blake Boydston. Oh, Blake, again. One more time, this is your night, young fella. I believe that's his third three of the night. Clearly a career high. Call the miss, the rebound, Hawthorne. Thunder want to play up tempo. Boydston open again. Not this time. Summerhalder had the rebound and lost it out of bounds. Miege ball. Great unselfish play there by Brian Hawthorne again. Knowing Boyson has it going. Again, ran to that ball side corner there. Summerhalder kicked it out to him. Just spun out on him. And Boyston came in averaging three. Has 11 tonight. Has four steals. He's just been all over the place. Inside, Jensen knocked away to be... Miege keeping. Cjack and Burrett in. Lynch out. Again, if I'm Coach Zeke, I'm not happy with the body language of my kids out there. Again, a lot of time left in this one with three minutes to go in the third quarter, 14 points down. But again, with their explosiveness, they can get back in here, if they tighten things up defensively, get some better shots down here. Martin and Wing back in for the Stags. They need some offensive punch. Wing driving, floating, scoring. Aiden Wing. He's been strong in the second half. He's got 11. A toughness bucket right there by Wing. Like the stag to back in his own little 1 2 2 zone right here. Trying to slow the Thunder down. Summerhalter exploits the baseline. He's got 16 game high points. Now you get the ball to that short corner there to Sam Summerholder. So clever. Get into the rim. Inside ball stolen. Summerholder outletting to Hawthorne. Brian, oh. layup good. Those live ball turnovers are kill you again. Bishop High School. You don't really see that often in part of Coach Zeke's team right here. Another big run out by St. James. 16 point lead. Bowen Webb's three ball. Rebounded by Hawthorne. Bryant handing off. Layup good. It's blowout city right now. You know, we highlighted Brian Hawthorne earlier and dropping dimes all night long. Can get his own. Burrett the basket his first. Martin from downtown. Yes. Mac Martin, 6'7", senior, his first three of the night. You know, Coach Zeke really talked about how they need him to play tonight again. Maybe that three ball will get him going. Boydston. And a travel is called. Looks like I had a little back door play set right there. Finn Burr. Normally a catch and shoot three ball man. Boydston on penetration. Burr's going back door, just drug the pivot foot. Let's take another look. I didn't see the pivot foot move. I don't think Boydston saw it either. Yeah, yeah he was a little shocked. But... 15 point lead for the Thunder. Again, yeah, he's looking for an answer right here. Martin working against Cjack. Just kind of throws it up there. Thought he was fouled. No whistle. Give it back to the Thunder. Neeson out to Burrett. Cjack lining up a three. You betcha. I'll tell you what, their ball reversal, their spacing. Their unselfishness, great shot every time down. Answered back by the Stags, and a foul. And that was Aiden Wing, who's been the best Stag in the third quarter. Well, St. James Academy, Neeson skipped in the backside to, to his junior buddy over there. Gabe C. Jack coming out of nowhere. Another big three. There's the toughness. The attitude, Aiden Wing getting strong to the cup. Aiden 
Jack has three threes, wants another one. Wants an offensive rebound, and they'll hold probably for the final shot of the third quarter with a big lead over their Catholic rivals, the Bishop Mie Stags. Well, Garrett Lynch can shoot the three ball, too, also. Great offensive rebounder there, really unselfish to a fall a lot of times. Just the kind of kid every high school every high school program would need. Does all the dirty work. Great leadership. Here comes the double team. Neeson with the catch. Now back to Sam. Sam's gonna Try run to it to there. the rim, I would imagine. This is his move. Spinorama, layup good. Sam Summerall. Great call there, Kevin. Again, you know him oh so well. Just too quick with the basketball and the Thunder. Too strong in the third quarter for the Stags in an EKL rivalry game. St. James Academy putting it on Miege 57 39 after three. You look at our high V scoring by quarters. Fans just squeezed in here. They had to turn away a lot of folks. If you want to get something from the concession stand, <laughs> get about a half an hour wait to get it. And what a third quarter by St. James Academy. Well, they highlight the offensive end of the court, Kevin. Again, putting 23 up on Bishop Mays High School in a big game like this. You look at the other end defensively, so solid, so active. St. James Academy turned the stags over, got out in transition, made him pay. Hawthorne to Neeson, hanging and scoring. John and Neeson. Twenty-point lead for St. James Academy against the defending 4A state champions, Bishop Miege. Had a tough week. They already lost to Van Horn as Boylan puts it up and in. And that's that running after a deuce. Again, a lot of teams don't run it off a defensive rebound or steal. St. James Academy always on the attack. Jensen the block. Boylan, another shot on the inside, draws the foul. And will shoot two free throws. <laughs> Kellen Boylan. Bone Ruff struggling with a little bit of injury there himself. Again, Coach Stan Dom was bright, really into the analytics of the game, Kevin. Loves feedback after every game of call. After what do you think they need to work on? And the son of a coach, Bob Dom, brought work ethic to him. Legendary coach down at Medicine Lodge High School. Mark Potter was Stan's coach at uh, Kansas Newman. Again, Tim Jankovich stands real tight with him, the head coach at SMU. His dad, Bob. 37 years as a coach. Oh, he did all the time. There. I think they no. named the gym after him last year down there, too. Sharon, Kansas? Is that where? Uh, that sounds correct. That's right. where Medicine Lodge is. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I believe that's where it's at. And there's Eason. Sujek gets an offensive rebound. Then Sujek, Neeson. Hawthorne, all juniors, all coming back. Hawthorne, off glass. Boylan, the rebound from Miege. Jensen, right oh. down Main Street for a layup. Again, Jensen, good floor runner. Great physical play there. And lead at 15. Hawthorne, no screen and roll. Now, Summer Alder calling for it. Had the ball knocked free. Thunder keep at the baseline. Little four out one in there. Look the same. Summer Holder. Again, seals well, pins well. Caught it first. A lot of kids give a big rush to score the ball in the post. Again, Sam usually catches it. Strong with the basketball. What do I got? Fancy ball the backside, he gets his own. Reach in foul on Hall. As Hawthorne hits the deck. Hey, 
It's really been a pretty clean second half, Kevin. But only two fouls on the Stags and two fouls on St. James Academy. I think the refs have done a good job of letting them play here. Neeson. Another three for Johnny Neeson, his third of the night. Oh, they've really got a roll in the guy from the three-point line. Wing. Top score for Miege has 15. Came in averaging 10. Summerhalder goes behind the back. It's blocked and fouled. And will shoot free throws. For a guy his size, doesn't really shoot the ball out on the perimeter a little bit. Again, very, very clever. Wrap around dribble right there. Sam Summerholder, four-year starter here at St. James Academy. Again, 18 points tonight. Last foul, whistle on wing, his second. Sam shoot another one. It's offensive rebound. Put back no good. Stags run out with it. Boylan. Bowen Webb for three. Yes. Again, Bowen Webb. They really need him to get on the roll here. Again, they've cut it to 13, Kevin, with five to go. He's probably the Stags' best hope if they're going to get in this thing. Only had 30 the other night, so he can flat out score. Let's see if they want to run clock. Set themselves up with an easy shot. Good ball handling team. Now the ball's thrown away. Boiling the steal on Hawthorne. And he lays it up and in. And all of a sudden, Miege has got it down to 11. And if they get it to single digits, it's going to get nervous time for the Thunder. Well, you can tell all the momentum with Bishop Miege High School right now. Again, it's not often that Brian Hawthorne throws a point to wing away, but a little bit of lazy pass on that one right there. Hawthorne up no good. Boiling the rebound. All right, a bucket here gets it down to single digits and then gets Miege right back in this game. Boylan, corner to Jensen for a three. Money. Now they're saying a two-point make for Dagan. It's still a nine-point ball game. And things are changing here in the fourth quarter. Timeout, Thunder, and Stan Dom. Boylan getting things done. Boylan to Jensen for a big shot right there again. 10 points, a little under four minutes to go. Again, you know Miege isn't going to quit on things. There's so much pride. Again, Coach has seen everything. And again, Bowen Webb got the ball rolling there, backed off him a little bit. John Neeson did. Bowen had a good, clean look. And again, out in transition. Looked like he wanted to dunk it right there. Boylan, the transfer from Denver. Really a complete player. He can handle it. He can give it up. He can go to the board, shoot it deep, get his own. See Coach Stan Dom. Got two great assistants right there. Again, Dan Ferguson uh, played for Medicine Lodge a couple years younger than Stan. All-state track athlete. Big 12 steeplechase runner. Stan is actually an all-Big 12 runner there. And another young coach over there with a the bad stash. That's Tom Huppy. Again, was the captain of the team in Stan Dom's first year here. Getting married, I hear. He Congratulations. Married. That's yeah, the best yeah. thing he's ever done. <laughs> Got a trophy wife. Easy, Dad. Got a trophy wife. All I'm right. telling you. All right. And now a turnover out of the timeout. Boydston lost it out of bounds. Again, another defensive adjustment there on the part of the Stags. Again, Coach Tom has all his starters in right now. See if they can show a little poise. They're going to stop themselves. the hall and it's a turnover. Rick Zeke saying it was tipped. Officials disagree. Rick had a really good look at it too again. Ran Bowen Webb off the backside. Stagger on the backside again. Yeah good it was. Hawthorne. Yeah. Hawthorne tipped it. Good call there. <laughs> the fact that he did tip it. The referees missed that one. Lynch. 
coach mentioned, can shoot the three. Boydston. There's better games tonight. The Mage, only three team fouls going in right here. They're going to be a little bit more aggressive. Hawthorne showing some great strength. He puts it up and in. Oh, that's a good look by Summerhold again. Great catch there by Hawthorne. Athletic and now finished off the board. Boylan driving. Jensen throwing up a tough hook shot. Comes up empty and give it back to the Thunder. And now Hall a backcourt foul. Again, I can't emphasize enough just the all-round game that Brian Hawthorne has. He can handle it. Unselfish. He can shoot it. Great defender. Great penetrator. Again, really a complete player here for Coach Stan Dom and the Thunder, the junior, Brian Hawthorne. And the Thunder put the nails in the oh. coffin. Backdoor cut will work. Hawthorne to Summerall. I'll tell you what, you can see that one coming there. Clean out the side bed for Summerholder. Thought he was going to come on over on a curl. Went back door. Dropping a dime. Brian Hawthorne, another assist. Boylan, count the basket, and he is fouled. They called a blocking foul on the Thunder. They see the last possession from St. James Academy. They know what's coming. That little reverse pivot, summer holder, easy deuce. And on the backside, Boylan. Again, Hawthorne thought he was set up, did not get the call. He's got three. Boylan, fighting all night. Called the foul on Neeson. Now we got another foul. It's going to be on Boylan. We've got just over two minutes to play. 11 point lead in the basketball. Under spreading it out. Trying to stay undefeated in the EKL. Summer Alder, Boydston, Hawthorne for three. Yes, Brian Hawthorne. I'll tell you what, a lot of coaches wouldn't want that one to go up there with a minute and a half to go. Coach Dom really builds confidence in his shooters. Doesn't question their shot selection a lot. All of them shoot the ball with confidence. Nice in the block. Bowen Webb got it back. Boylan down the baseline. And the dunk hit the rim, and now Hawthorne is shaken up. Caught an elbow, or I didn't see it either. Boylan staying on the attack, though. Boylan uh, spiked the ball on the rim, and then I think he got hit in the nose. Let's see here. Yep, he caught a hand to the face. Yeah, just his dragging, lagging hand caught Brian there. Uh, no one, Brian. He's not coming out of this. No, one. he's staying in. Just told the official, Robin Hobson, I'm good to go. Let's go. Let's wrap this up. Let's get the season sweep and celebrate the Valentine's weekend. Staying in the EKL hunt, St. James Academy tonight. Hawthorne, stop and go, and draws the foul. Wing will hear the whistle. Fans starting to hit the exits. And Brian Hawthorne, you young players. Are Head's always up, has that great hesitation move. Good tight handle. You know what, we got a minute here, Kevin. Let me give a shout out to some former Bishop Yeage coaches who are having a tough time. Coach Chuck Miner, Roger Jackson, both of them have some health challenges. Fantastic coaches under Coach Zeke back in the day again. Fantastic mentors, role models, Coach um, it's minor, obviously a big time coach down at Slagle High School. Both of them care about the kids. They missed right now. And big Sam, all smiles as he comes to the bench. It's about as happy as you'll see Sam get. 20 points to lead his team as they're looking to sweep the Stags, the team that's owned them since they came about. 2005 is 
Armstrong, his second three of the night. Will Anderson on the floor. For the Stags getting some late minutes. Coppage out there. Martin. As the white flag has been waved by Miege. And now the steal by Anderson. Head to Armstrong. Stags. Suffered their second loss of the week. Lost at home to Van Horn by double figures. And they're going to lose or by eight points, I beg your pardon. And lose on the road to a rival. And Zeke uh, talking about the rival. I mean, he says, you got to beat us to have a rival. Well, you lost two in a row now. Coach Dom has won the last two. And it's a W for a packed gym at St. James Academy. And the rivalry is real now. 71-58, St. James over Bishop Miege in our boys' EKL matchup right here on the High E High School Game of the Week. Sam Summerhalder led all scorers. He had 20. Miege led in scoring by Aiden Wing, who had 15 points. And there's a big smile for the big guy. The 6 7 senior, Sam Summerhalder. 12 and 4, the record for the Thunder. They're now 3 and 0 in the league. That's big. They could win the league this year as it's up in the air. Miege drops to 12 and 5 and 2 and 3 in the EKL. Back with the High V post game right after this. A thunderous celebration for the Thunder of St. James Academy beating Bishop Miege tonight. Strong second half for the home team. They win it 71 to 58. Oh, it was a fantastic atmosphere tonight. Both games, highly competitive. Two great private schools in the East Kansas League. You couldn't ask for more. Friday night in February. Let's check in with Dion. All right, here with Sam Summerholder and a, a great win. You guys really just pulled away in the second half. How fun is it to beat these guys twice, but uh, knowing you had, to, you had to grind through in the first half and then just pull away? It's a lot of fun. They're a great team, and I'm just really proud of our guys. We Everyone put in the work and did a great job. You guys stayed really aggressive for most of the game, and that's really when things seemed to happen for you. Was that kind of the goal in the second half? Definitely. Just keep them on their feet, move the ball, drive it in, just keep it up a fast pace. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Well, a fun night here in Lenexa as St. James Academy uh, is victorious in the boys' game. Miege girls win uh, the girls' matchup, but uh, I told you, if you like EKL basketball, this is uh, as good as it gets. Crowded gym, high-level action, and the Thunder win it. Special thanks to our school ADs. Thanks to the coaches, Justin Snell, and or uh, I should say uh, Stan Dom and Rick Zeke, our producer, Mark Cuppy, Dion Clisso. Entire crew, Kevin White, saying so long from St. James Academy in Lenexa. And have a happy Valentine's Day weekend. Good night, everybody.